And Alina Varnenko here with another edition of Wild and Wonderful with Alina. On this cold, fally day, I went to check out Aurora, West Virginia. They have hemlock trees at Cathedral State Park, and not very many of you know about them, so check it out. Today I'm at the Cathedral State Park and I'm about to get ready to go on a cathedral trail. It's about a mile long, it wraps around and I have my guide and let's go see some, some wildlife. Cathedral State Park sits on 133 acres beside Route 50 Highway, but when walking on the trail, most visitors experience a unique, peaceful serenity. And it's kind of a calm, peaceful feeling when you walk in this area. So that, that was one reason people could thought of the cathedrals. Uh, another reason is the trees. The hemlock trees can get up to about 90 feet tall. Uh, so what they, they thought of was the cathedrals and churches. The big attraction of this park are the massive hemlocks that can be seen on trails. So we're approaching our first big hemlock. Oh wow, that is a big one. Here it is folks. A double, doubled up hemlock, it's like a V. On our trip around the state park, we weren't the only visitors enjoying nature's beauty. It's my birthday this weekend, so we decided to come out here for the weekend and take the hike out through here to go look at the hemlocks. The trees were a main attraction, but there were also wildflowers, berries, and mushrooms along the trails. So Eric, we are at the grand finale, um, the end of the story, the big shebang, and we're standing next to this tree, this uh, hemlock tree that is known for something, what is it? Uh, yeah, it's known as the Centennial Hemlock. It was the largest hemlock in the state at that time. And it fell in 2004, but we still have a deck around it and a stump that you can come and visit. It was about 94 feet tall at the time. Oh, wow. And then there's a myth or somewhat of a story. We don't know if it's factual or not, but it got struck by lightning a few I, times. I believe it was, it was struck by lightning several times before that. And I think finally it got struck again in 2004, and I think it finally came down. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, well, that's a wrap, folks. We are reporting from Aurora, West Virginia, 4-5 News. This is Eric, my tour guide. Awesome. And I'm Alina Varnenko.